Good morning, Mr. Miles. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> So today is Thursday and the kids have camp at church, but I have to run to Target because back when they had their 50% off swimwear sale, I had bought um, a bunch of swimsuits, um, but I also had lost weight from April until now. I think it was April when they had that sale. So I need to return one of them. And plus I already have a bunch of other ones. So Miles, what are you doing? So honestly, I probably shouldn't have even brought, bought as many as I did, but I'm going to head out today and kind of bring you guys along. So I am officially back home from Target and I just wanted to kind of give you guys some insight on some of the things I grabbed. Um, one in which was a yellow shirt that I need to get for Ariella because um, they had to wear their team colors for summer camp today. Um, and I could not find any of her yellow hair bows for the life of me. So I had to run out and grab her a really cute yellow shirt. And then I know that Gerber and a bunch of other brands carry like those fruit grain bars for babies. And Miles loves them, but they're super tiny and there's not many in the box at all. So I picked up the Nutri-Grain bars because it's pretty much the same exact thing except for these are larger and it comes with eight in a box. Also guys, I officially have my first cravings like i have been craving greek food so ridiculously bad which is just a weird craving for me to have because i do love greek food but it's not one of those things like oh i really really you know need greek food but for whatever reason this pregnancy i'm craving greek food and this is the closest thing that target has to greek food it is so good. I'm hoping that pretty soon we can find out time to travel to a Greek restaurant so I can fulfill this craving. Um, I'm not so sure when it's gonna happen because we live in the middle of nowhere and the closest Greek restaurant is like over an hour away. But we have to make a trip there because if you've ever had pregnancy cravings, then you know when you have that craving, like you need to fulfill that craving. And that's just honestly where I'm at. So today the girls have doctor's appointments um, because I had to completely change who was their pediatrician and it's a whole conversation for a whole nother day. But if you are a military spouse um, or you just come from a military family, then you know that when things come, when things come, when it comes to the military and like just anything, um, surprisingly enough, it's very unorganized and we had quite a few issues and me and my husband had it up to here and we just had to get the new doctors all together. Yeah, all of the kids are going to see a pediatrician today for physical so that way we can sign up the girls for sports because they really, really want to get into some sort of activities and um, we also want to sign them up for swim lessons that start again um, next month. So it is very important for me to remember to make copies of all the necessary paperwork to make sure that I don't forget anything for this appointment because God forbid if I forget anything and then I just have like an even crazier scenario than what I had the last time and then I'm gonna be really angry with myself at that point because I'm pretty sure by then 90% of everything that you can enroll in is gonna be like closed and the kids are gonna be super bummed, I'm gonna be super bummed, and I just wanna avoid that altogether. So I'm gonna make sure I don't forget anything, so pregnancy brain, do not start. So yeah, so Miles is currently eating a little snack. Um, I'm going to try and get some homework done because this is my last and final class for me to complete my degree and I am extremely excited. There has been so many things that have just been going on and I felt like every single semester there was something happening that was pushing um, the semester that I graduate back. And now finally, there's nothing that's gonna stop me um, unless I procrastinate and don't get stuff done on time. So I'm actually going to try and get stuff like that done now because the day is going by like that and I feel like I've not gotten anything done as much as I would like to. So guys, I ate literally the entire box of the spanakopita and it was amazing i feel a little wonky 
and sick-ish, probably because I ate an entire box, but it was good. So it's pretty much time to get ready to go. Miles was taking a nap. He didn't really eat much of his lunch at all. So I'm going to try and bring some snacks for something to kind of hold him off because we're gonna be at the doctor's office for quite some time. So I need to go pick up the girls. So I'm going to try and wake Miles up so I can nurse him. So guys, we are officially back home from their doctor's appointment. We were there for hours. Like, it's like insane how long we were there. Um, mostly because I combined all of the kids' doctor's appointments that way. I wasn't like running back and forth um, for them to go see the doctors over and over again. And um, I'm sure anyone that has more than one kid pretty much does that because it's just so much easier on you. But as a result, so this was the first time they were seeing this pediatrician and because um, the pediatrician had to see all three of them, we were there literally from 1.30 to like almost 4. So Miles is taking a short nap and I honestly need to get him up because it's dinner time and I have prepared the kids dinner and everything. I just need to physically get up and plate it. Um, but I just don't have the energy now and I feel like the fatigue and pregnancy is starting to really hit me. Um, I think I'm currently five weeks and five days and I'm starting to feel the symptoms 100%. I just don't have a lot of motivation. I just don't have the energy to push through throughout the day. Um, my appetite has definitely not increased much. Um, but just my cravings, which you guys know, um, from the clips earlier. So, like, I could go for a nice shower right now and just lay in bed, watch some Netflix or find something just good to watch on Hulu and fall asleep. But I have three kids, so that's not an option. I mean, I guess I just got to force myself up and... get the kids fed so that I can do that right it just sucks because like you're so comfortable and you really don't want to get up but you've got to get up and okay gotta get done gotta get up I don't think I mentioned this earlier but my husband is away at the field this week um, which means that he's not home so it's all on me and I'm missing him more and more every day because my husband is the type of husband that like helps out with so much he is just like very hands-on he's always like just ready to like help with dinner or making sure everyone's bath water is ran and just making sure that um, everyone's fed everything's cleaned up like he helps me with everything because he feels like you know the more he helps me with everything and the more we work as a team the quicker we can both relax um, which is very very nice and I'm missing it right now because the pregnancy is hitting me really really hard all of a sudden and it might just be because it just was a long day in general um, but yeah it's hitting me really really hard right now also I am super bloated. My nine-year-old mentioned the other day, she's like, your belly looks like you're pregnant again. And I was like, no, mommy just had a lot of snacks today <laughs> because we aren't telling them just yet. We don't even know how we're gonna tell them. We haven't even decided yet. So that's like a conversation for a later date. And just the fact that my body's already changing to the point where the kids are starting to realize it means that I'm gonna have to actually we are gonna have to tell them sometime soon so just push through these two hours and get some much needed rest because I need it just so badly like I wish I could get a cup of coffee like I know that um 
some people will say not to drink coffee during pregnancy but for the most part it's safe like as long as you don't overdo it but like i can't even enjoy coffee anymore because this time around it actually like makes my stomach hurt and that sucks because i love the starbucks caramel ribbon crunch and it is like my special little mom treat like after i've had a long day i love going to starbucks to pick that up but since it just makes me so physically ill to drink it i can't even partake in that um just anything sweet like candy just i'm not even interested in it and i told you guys already before like i can barely eat heavy meals because like it just doesn't sit well with me and it does like everything doesn't even sound good to me to eat so i've been eating super late but yet i'm super bloated it's just my body doesn't know what it's doing right now my body just knows that it wants greek food and a churro like i've been thinking about a churro for like the past two days now so i just need to <laughs> power through these next two hours get some rest um power through these next few days because we're supposed to be going on vacation um and hopefully on that vacation i can get a churro and some greek food to fulfill that craving um but until then i'm just gonna have to mom and i'm gonna have to mom an adult very hard guys to get quite a bit of cleaning done from the huge mess I made after dinner and now I'm just going to relax and have some mommy time so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video